China will launch two-in-one asteroid deflection mission in 2025. China is now looking to launch its first planetary defense test mission a year earlier than planned and on a larger rocket. Like NASA did on its recent double asteroid redirection test mission, China wants to test changing the orbit of a potentially hazardous asteroid with an impactor spacecraft and also accurately measure how much its orbit is altered. Welcome back to the Space Gaze. Before we proceed, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated when we release new videos. Without further delay, let's dive in. There's an old joke that the dinosaurs are only extinct because they didn't develop a space agency. The implication, of course, is that unlike our reptilian ancestors, we humans might be able to save ourselves from an impending asteroid strike on Earth, given our six and a half decades of spaceflight experience. But the fact is that while we have achieved amazing things since Sputnik kicked off the space age in 1957, very little effort thus far has gone into developing asteroid deflection technologies. We are woefully inexperienced in this arena, and aside from our Hollywood dramatizations of it, we've never yet put our capabilities to the test. But that's about to change. Wu Yanhua, deputy head of the China National Space Administration, announced last week that they plan to carry out an asteroid deflection test as early as 2025, part of a larger asteroid monitoring and defense system that the CNSA is in the early stages of developing. The monitoring system will consist of both ground-based and space-based instruments used to catalog near-Earth objects that may pose a threat. Monitoring systems are especially important because the earlier you catch an incoming asteroid, the easier it is to deflect. A distant asteroid might need only a minor tap to redirect it enough to miss Earth the later an asteroid is seen, the more difficult it would be to change its course. DART partnered with a successor mission from the European Space Agency called HERA, which is due to launch in 2024 and will study the impact site in detail. China, however, wants to attempt both the impact and close observation in one shot. The country first announced plans for the mission in April and later revealed that the test would target a space rock known as 2020 PN1, a potentially hazardous asteroid roughly 130 feet 40 meters wide. The mission was to launch on a Long March 3B rocket around 2026. Wu Weren, chief designer of China's Lunar Exploration Program, told CCTV on November 24 that the new plan will see the mission launch in 2025 atop the larger, more powerful Long March 5 rocket. We will launch two probes, he said. The first one is for surveying. Having studied it, the asteroid thoroughly after a period of survey, the other one, an impactor, will follow our orders to collide with the asteroid and hopefully divert it three or five centimeters, one or two inches, away from its course. The spacecraft will launch together, but after separating from the rocket they will enter different trajectories to 2020 PN1. The surveyor will rendezvous with the asteroid first, allowing it to make observations both before and after the planned impact. While small, the planned alteration in the orbit would be enough to significantly alter the asteroid's path over time. A deviation of 3 or 5 centimeters would change the trajectory by over 1,000 kilometers, 620 miles, after around three months, Wu said. The longer the time, the bigger the change of the trajectory. Wu underlined the importance of being able to eliminate potential threats of collisions with Earth. You can sleep well knowing that space agencies around the world have already built robust asteroid monitoring systems and have cataloged many thousands of solar system objects. None of them pose a realistic threat in our lifetimes. Currently, the highest risk object, known as 2010 RF-12, has a 4.8% chance of an Earth impact in 2095. This 7-meter asteroid would cause a fireball similar to the Chelyabinsk meteor in 2013. Still, there may be more out there we haven't seen yet, so the CNSA's new monitoring project is a welcome addition. When it comes to asteroid hunting, the smallest objects are the hardest to see, but like the shooting stars that streak harmlessly through the sky every night of the year, these are unlikely to cause damage. On the other end of the spectrum, the largest asteroids out there are capable of causing an extinction-level event, but are easy to spot and keep track of. It is actually the middle-sized asteroids that are the most dangerous, big enough to do localized damage, 
but small enough that we may not find them in time. Observing asteroids up close also helps us understand how best to deflect them. OSIRIS-REx mission, which recently visited near-Earth asteroid Bennu, discovered Bennu to be a loose gravel pit of an asteroid. Such a target would require a different technique to deflect it than a homogeneous solid chunk of rock. With enough time and warning, potential options include a gravity tractor gently tugging at the asteroid with the mass of a spacecraft orbiting it, or painting the exterior of the asteroid white, changing the way the asteroid is heated and cooled by the sun, slowly affecting its orbit. The simplest solution, of course, is to just hit an asteroid really hard. The CNSA's new monitoring program will be paired with an engineering effort to design and build a high-thrust rocket that can carry a kinetic impactor, a payload designed to punch an asteroid with enough force to change its orbit. The target asteroid they plan to test the impactor on is, as yet, unannounced. NASA and ESA are also taking their first steps toward developing kinetic asteroid defense capabilities. DART mission, launched last November, will attempt to change the orbit of Dimorphos, a tiny moon circling asteroid Didymos, by slamming into the moon at high speed. This is the first test of its kind, and the resulting change in trajectory is likely to be very small. This is, in large part, the reason DART is targeting a moon, rather than a lone asteroid. It will be easier to measure the tiny changes in Dimorphos orbit, with nearby asteroid Didymos available to provide a frame of reference. The DART mission will impact Dimorphos in September of this year, and will be followed up in 2027 with Hera, an ESA mission that will observe the aftermath of the impact up close. Spurts noted that China's asteroid defense system could be an important supplement in addressing the threats of asteroids hitting Earth, and it is another practical solution that China proposes to build a community with a shared future for mankind. China will proceed to set up a near-Earth asteroid monitoring and defense system to deal with the threat of asteroid impacting on spacecraft and contribute to protect the safety of the Earth and mankind, Wu said during an interview with the China Central Television. A ground-based and space-based monitoring and warning system for asteroids will be set up to catalog and analyze asteroids that pose a threat to humanity's space activities, and then relevant technology and engineering will be developed to dispel the threats. Wu told the Global Times that the CNSA is developing a simulation software for possible impact from near-Earth asteroids and will organize rehearsals for the defense process to address the common threat and shouldering the responsibility as a major global power in safeguarding the Earth with other countries. Mission Insiders revealed to the Global Times on Sunday that the system is currently at the project establishment phase and being reviewed for approval, which involves the close coordination of multiple departments. Song Zhongping, a military expert and space observer, told the Global Times on Sunday that currently the U.S. and Russia are also building asteroid monitoring systems, and China's defense system could be an important supplement in addressing the threats of asteroids hitting Earth. That's all I have for you guys for today. If you liked watching this video, please make sure to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon so that you may be notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.